Hi, and thank you for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the One Series Safety Transmitter from United Electric Controls. My name is Rick Frotten and I'm a Product Manager. I'll be referring to two different documents today during our exercise. One is the Installation and Maintenance Manual, which comes in the box with the product, and also the Quick Start Guide, also coming in the box with the product. So this is the One Series Safety Transmitter, and first I'll remove the cover so that we can expose the display module. We see the display which is giving us the process variable and the IM working indication. That's a health status indication. And we have two buttons on the front. These are used to program the unit. It's best to use your thumbs to program the unit, and I kind of tuck my fingers underneath here and press with my thumbs. From the installation and maintenance manual, I have the programming flow chart here. And let me just show you how to work this chart. We start with the process display, which is the same as our display over here. And we can move either to the right into the menu or down in the menu. And those correspond to these keys on the front of the instrument. So for example, the first thing we might want to do is press both keys simultaneously. That allows us to enter the password. The default password is all zeros, and I'll show you that in just a moment. And once we successfully enter the password, then we are in the editing mode and we can make changes to the software. But everything starts here at the process display. On my demo, notice that I have two indicating lights. One is the I am working output, which is the health status of the product. And the green light is the safety relay output status, which is a programmable set point and it's indicating that that has not yet been reached. Let me go ahead and enter the password. Two buttons, password defaults at all zeros unless you change it to something otherwise. And once that's accepted, and I press the right hand button again, you'll notice that the product has gone offline at this point. Referring to the programming flowchart, we are now at the clear max min section of the menu. If I hit the up-down arrow, we continue to another command, and this is the set the units of measure. If we don't want to change those, simply hit the up-down arrow again, and now we are at switch one, where we can change the switch mode by hitting the right-hand arrow, which is currently set to open on rise. And let me show you how to change that. If I hit the up-down arrow, it's now open on fall. Hit it one more time, it's in the window mode and hit it again and it loops around back to the original open on rise setting. We'll leave it there for this demonstration. If I hit the right hand arrow, set point is currently set to 3.0 PSI. If I'd like to change any of those numbers, I simply scroll to the number or the digit, increment it using the up down arrow, and then continue on. The dead band or the hysteresis of the product is currently set to 2.5 pounds. And again, if I'd like to change any of those, simply scroll over to that number and make the change using the up-down arrow. Once I've completed that, it circles back to switch one again. At this point, if that's all I wanted to do was set the set point in the dead band and then save my settings, that would be two buttons to get to the save change menu the default, as you will see, is no. I change that to yes, and then confirm that with two buttons. And you can see that the savings, the, the settings are being saved, and once it's finished, the two lights will come back on. So the product is now back online. To verify your set point in your dead band, simply hit the right hand arrow when you're in the process display mode. You'll notice those two values display. And now, I'm going to demonstrate the product by increasing the pressure up to the 3.1 set point. You'll notice that the green status light has gone off. If I release the pressure, that green status light comes back on. So the safety relay output was open for a short time there and then closed again. Action. So that was the basic programming commands for the One Series Safety Transmitter. If you look on our programming flowchart, we basically covered this page by setting the set point in the dead band, entering the password and things like that. 
In our next video, we'll be getting into the advanced commands for the safety transmitter. So please stay tuned and take a look at our next video. Thank you.